Welcome to the DZT instructional video. First, we need to start with printing out the decal. We do this in Photoshop. So let us open up our file. Next, what we will do is we're going to check the size. My size is just slightly bigger than the tile I'm going to be printing on. Let's go ahead and we're going to make another separate page here. This is going to be the size of the paper. I'm going to be using 12 by 18. Next we're going to take our file, we're going to copy it over, and we're going to paste it right onto the page. And we can just copy paste as many as we can fit on there. Alright, looks like we'll be able to get six on here. So when we're printing, we're going to look for a couple things. One, make sure you have the printer selected. This will be the number of copies. Here we want Photoshop to manage the colors. This is where all your different print profiles are going to be. And this helps make sure the color is synced up with the printer. So let's go ahead. I'm going to change my settings here, make sure it's coming out the bypass tray, make sure it's on the right settings, and we'll print. Here we go, we're going to see it pull from the bypass tray. And here it is, here's our little print. Just that easy. Alright, let's go ahead and we'll move on to the next step. Next, once we have our print, we just need to apply some cover coat to it. Now make sure you shake the can. Make sure everything is mixed up in there. Now you want to do this on the surface that, as you can see, I'm just using some cardboard. You just need something that you can spray because you can go off the edges with it. So you're just going to come straight across. Make sure you're about 6 to 12 inches above it. And you'll see that I go 50% on what I've already sprayed. So you want to go 50% that way. And then make sure 50% of your spray is on what you just did. We're going to go all the way down. And next, we're going to start on our second coat. So we're just going to do this vertically, but we're going to do the same thing. We want to make sure you have a nice, smooth motion. Try to keep, go as straight as possible. You don't want to miss any spots. And sometimes if you don't get a direct good coating on there, you can always do this with a nice third coat to make sure it's completely covered. Alright, let's get this to dry. So after it dries, we're going to want to just cut them out. Uh, as you can see, we put a small space all the way around it. That just helps on the applying process so that we don't have to be right up against the edge. This just helps with giving us a little extra room to play with. So now that we have the last one cut, we can move on to our next step. This will be soaking and applying the decal. Now we just have a tub here of water that we use. We do this so we can do multiple at a time. Other people like to use a spray bottle full of water. This makes it so they can spray the decal manually and then put it on. This method for us is just a lot easier. So you let them soak for a little bit. After that, we're gonna make sure we get water on the tile. This is gonna make sure when we put the tile on there, it'll be easy to move around, easy to manipulate. So we're gonna take our first one here, we're gonna put it onto the tile. Now you'll be able to know if it's soaked enough water because it will slide just that easy. It shouldn't be a lot of effort, it should be just like that. So now we're gonna center it. Once you get that guy centered, we're going to take our roller and we're going to go from the middle out and this is going to tack the decal down to the tile. You want to be very careful, you want to get all the water, all the air out. Next we're going to take a squeegee and we're going to do a little bit more pressing. This is going to make sure there's no water, no air. You want to be sure to get all the air and water out. This will make sure there's no burnouts on it, it will make sure the decal fires into the tile with no problem.
All right, now we're gonna press the edges. Make sure everything is down, nothing is flaring out. We're gonna pinch the corners as well. This will ensure a nice clean edge when it's fired. Now that we got all those, we're going to make our way to the kiln. So here we have a couple of our tile that we already fired. As you can see, the colors are on there. This is completely fired on there. Now you can see we can do anything from art to still life and even sceneries. So I hope that gives you a good idea of what our decal process can do. If you want any more information, you can check down below. Please be sure to subscribe and like.